It's game on, and as the NFL gets to its Super 2, we're talking Vikings with one of number 28's biggest blockers. Speaking of the purple, what do they have to do during the offseason? This former Viking linebacker is in to tell us. The holidays might be over, but the need to help others is not. We're still working to make sure food gets to those in need. And there's a new coach in town. Meet the new man of the Mayak, working to turn around the team at Hamlin. It's time to get your game on. Greetings again from the Dakotas to downtown Minneapolis. This is Game On. Steps from Nicolette Mall. We're coming to you from the local, right in the heart of downtown Minneapolis. And once again, great to have you with us, Rod Simons. Game On TV and the, yes, the NFL. Four to its Super Two. But we're talking Vikings and we have some great food right in the middle of downtown Minneapolis. We couldn't be more excited to have you with us. So let's get busy. Full show, let's get after it. And as you know, we always start Game On by the numbers. And when we looked at the numbers, we find the NFL is down to its Super 2. The Pro Bowl has purple flavor. That's played next week. After 113 days, we're living it this weekend. The NHL is back and playing games. And twin spring training, I'm counting them by the day, 24 days away. Yes, it's playoff weekend. I couldn't be more excited to lead off game on than talking Vikings football with one of the Minnesota moving company leaders. It's Brandon Fusco in the house. How are you, big man? Good, how are you doing? Thanks for having me on. Good to have you back. And yeah. Playoffs are going. We're down to the NFL's Final Four this uh, weekend. It's got to be killing you. Yeah, it's tough watching these games. You know, it's uh, you know, some of the teams we play during the season. And, uh, you know, just knowing if we play our game and, you know, whatnot, you know, we can beat these teams. On, you know, so you're actually watching. Yeah, I, I watch a little bit. Because some of your teammates don't watch. Yeah, but, uh, you know, I was watching that Packers game, kind of rooting on the 49ers a little bit. But uh, yeah. it, it was nice, to, you know, to watch some of the games and uh, not, you know, stay with football in the offseason, but, you know, at the same time, get away from it at the same time. So. You played both those teams and performed well against San Francisco. San Francisco put a goat rope in on those guys. Yeah, they uh, they played well, and that's what, you know, that's a, it's kind of, you know, success we could have, too, if, you know, yeah. we're playing those teams and whatnot. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Have you had a chance to, it's only been a few days since you guys stopped playing. Mm, yeah. Cleaned out your locker and did all that, that stuff. Have you had a chance to think back at how crazy the season was? Because so many people didn't expect you guys to win five or six games. You get 10, you get playoffs. Adrian goes over 2,000 yards thanks to the moving company. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's dynamic. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, something we expected as players and the coaching staff and the organization. But, you know, there's people out there that had doubts about us. And uh, we're the only ones out there who know that we could do this. You know? And you guys all said that repeatedly. Yeah. You yeah. did. You told us here on Game On months ago. Yeah. Uh, Rudolph did. Everybody said, we're better than people are giving us credit. Uh, absolutely. We're a young team. And, uh, you know, we, we laid a nice foundation, you know, this year to you know, start 10-6 and six, you know, on this foundation. And, you know, we have a brave future as a team. Like I said, young team, uh, a lot of first, second-year players on this team. And we look forward to the future, we really are. Ponder a better quarterback than people are giving him credit Absolutely. for. Absolutely, yeah. He's a great leader. You know, no one knows behind-the-scenes stuff. He's he just, you know, always communicating with his players and uh, he's you know, really close to the offensive line. You know, we're behind him. He's behind us. And, you know, there's people out there, you know, give him a hard time. Now, it's a quarterback position, he's got to take it. And a lot of lights. It's this, it's what it is. And, you know, he hands, handles it well, and you know, I'm proud of him, how he played this season. He, I think he improved a lot. Yeah, and you guys, as a, as a line did too, and you blocked, you're going to be able to tell your kids down the road, <laughs> you blocked for one of the greatest running backs of all time in the National Football yeah. League. Yeah, you're absolutely right. What a season. Yeah, I mean... Especially after you know the injury Adrian had, uh, you know he's a hard worker, special player, and uh, you know, for us uh, as offensive linemen, you know it, it's uh, it's nice blocking for the best running back in the NFL. In the least. huddle, do you know what is it? Is it is or is it? I know I know it's a game, and yeah. I know you got stuff to do. Yeah. But do you ever look over there and and see this Clydesdale ready to go? Oh, absolutely. He's got that fire in his eyes. And, uh, does he? Oh, absolutely. And. Uh, you know, we're all looking at each other. When he makes a big run, you're like, it's unbelievable what he does. It's just crazy, you know? Yeah. So, uh, and he him. punishes people. He does. He's, he's a physical runner. He's, he makes great reads, great cuts, and he makes us look good. So. Oh, and you guys <laughs> yeah. did a great job. I, I am so 
everybody, I was telling you earlier, yeah. you've seen the Viking fans who popped in. People are all ready. They want the season to begin this week. Uh, it feels good. Yeah, I'm ready to go too. So <laughs> give me a week off. I'm ready to get, get back at it. Nice. Hey, yeah. you got an appetite on you? Yeah, so. Okay, yeah. hang tough. we got Ben coming in in just a minute. We'll grab the uh, chef, put some food into it. And they've got a really nice Minnesota style dish or two for you. All right, cool. Sounds cool. good. Brandon Fusco, the man is here. One of the <laughs> Minnesota movie company only here on Game On. We'd love for you to join us at a Game On taping and meet these folks live and in person. January 22nd in St. Louis Park at Cooper. January 27th, a very special Sunday taping. We're going to be talking twins at Karen's. We have autographs and tickets to be given away. Keep your game on. Join us on Facebook, Twitter, all your updates at GameOnTVMN.com. Fans always come first on Game On. Time for Voice of the Fan. Are you glad the NHL is back? I'm very glad the NHL is back. I'm a huge hockey fan. Grew up being a hockey fan. I miss it. I love high school, I love college hockey, but the pro game, we need it back here. From Vikings to the broadcast booth, up next, Ben Lieber on Game On. You gotta hold okay. You gotta burn. Fire scores! You got a hold on my sleeve, I can't leave. It murdered the original me and I can't grieve. So this is who I'm thinking. I'm gonna and catch him right in. Shoot and scores with the curse in my shot. Whatever they worth, give my mama crib in the birds and no fit in the mean and all of the in between. Shoot and scores! The swerve went in and over his head. He's got a hold of me. He's got a hold of me. He's got a hold of me. I'm Randall McDaniel. As a former Minnesota Viking and a member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame, I know how important it is to fuel up to be successful on and off the field. Now, I work with third graders and I see firsthand the positive impact exercise and good nutrition has on my students. As a partner with the Taste It of NFL and the NFL's Play 60 program, I'm proud to do my part to make sure kids get the nutrition they need. Please help us kick hunger in America and encourage an active lifestyle by supporting the Taste It of NFL and the NFL's Play 60 program. The Timberwolves Meal Deal presented by Papa John's is a great way to save money and watch Kevin Love, Brandon Roy, and Andre Kirilenko bring a playoff atmosphere back to Target Center. For just $25, you get an upper level ticket, a hot dog, chips, small Pepsi, and a coupon for a free large Papa John's pizza. Tickets are only available for purchase in advance of game day. To purchase your meal deal tickets, go to Timberwolves.com slash meal deal. The Minnesota Timberwolves, Wolves United. Meat Sauce here from KFAN. My weekly trivia question, courtesy of Bar Abilene, is who was the Timberwolves' first ever draft pick? We'll get to the answer at the end of Game On. Welcome back. It's Game On, Power by the Local. Great to have you with us. It's football playoff weekend down on the Final Four. You know this man, number 51, former Viking Ben Lieber in the house. What's happening, man? Finally, I have wanted <laughs> you here for 117 weeks. We finally got you. Better late than never. Great to have you. Happy New Year. Yes, Happy New Year to you, too. When you look at uh, the four teams still standing, are you surprised? I'm not surprised. Um, I think the one, you know, Baltimore is the surprise, I think, for a yeah. lot of people. I mean, you, you go look at the last game, and I don't think anybody really picked Baltimore, unless you, unless you had it in your heart. But you're yeah. thinking with your mind, yeah. nobody had Baltimore winning that game. The so. safety should have stopped that. I, I know. Yeah. I know. And I, I feel terrible for that kid. Yeah. But, you know, facts are the facts. And you yeah. took a terrible angle and a yeah. terrible play, and uh, I'm just glad it wasn't me. Yeah. So does New England beat Baltimore? or was... Right now, early on, I have, I have Baltimore beating New England. Do I do. Um, I've gone against Baltimore twice now yeah. in the playoffs, and so I'm like, I, I can't make the same mistake three yeah. times. So I'm gonna go with Baltimore. I think their their defense, it is a real tangible thing. I think they're they're playing inspired because of the whole Ray, Ray Lewis, Lewis thing, thing yeah. and they beat them the first time, which a lot of people can say, well, yeah. there's no way Belichick's gonna let that happen twice in, in one season. But I think that they're playing much more physical ball. I think they're a more physical team than Houston is, and and uh, you know I think they're gonna they're gonna keep that. That Patriot offense, I agree. A little, a little more ineffective than they were against I, Houston. I I'm right with you. They're 46 percent on third down conversions, yeah. and I don't think they have nearly that high a number. I think to be a difference in the football game. San Francisco Atlanta is my favorite game of the weekend, simply because who knows what Colin Kaepernick can do. I know. You know, that game again it can go either way. Yeah. 
and there's a lot of weapons on both sides. But you know, Kaepernick surprised me. You know, I I I wasn't really a believer until this last game. I'm like, gosh, if he can do that against Atlanta, then then I think they they with their defense and, and the way they can play play ball on both sides and special teams, I think they're the they're the favorite for me to go in and win that game. But uh, the other thing that kind of stands out to me is Atlanta. They had 162 rushing yards between the two running backs, and I just don't think that they're going to have that type of success again. They're not no. going to have that type of balance, especially yeah. against that defense. So I think they're going to have they're going to be one dimensional right from the first quarter. A lot of uh, people were emailing me before the taping saying you better talk a lot about the Vikings. So let's get after it. All right. You look at the season that this team had. Yeah. Clearly overachieving to people outside the team, but you can understand inside that locker room. Yeah. They thought they were a 10 and 16. Yeah. Anytime you go into a season in training camp. You know, you, you don't pay attention to what all the, the, the public is saying. You, you yeah. know you have, you have faith and trust in your coaching staff and the players and the system. And you, you're, always, you're always going towards the Super Bowl. And that's, that's what your goal is no matter what. And in some, some years it's a little easier to believe it than others. But I got to think that a lot of those players were a little surprised as well yeah. just by their success. And especially by the, not the fact that they got into the playoffs, but to rail off the four wins at the end of the, end of the season. Yeah. When they had to win every single game. You know, I'm, I'm already excited for next year, and I think they are too. And how are you enjoying being on radio and TV and moving very seamlessly from playing into broadcasting? You know, it's uh, it's certainly been a challenge. You know, yeah. um, I, I, I don't miss playing. I think that's the really? yeah. I, I I really don't. You know, my body and my body and mind is, was at a point when I retired that I said, that's it. I mean. Can I picture myself going to the grind again and, and going on Sundays and knowing what my body feels like? And I, I knew I couldn't do it. Nice. Um, I do miss the locker room. I miss the camaraderie. But you know, more importantly, and I found this very interesting, is that I I didn't know what it was like to to take control of my life uh -huh. because for 15 years in college and professional, you had somebody to lay your schedule out for you. Uh -huh. You you knew waking up every day what your schedule was going to be. Yeah. You know what your day was going to look like in February. You knew what it was going to look like in May. Uh -huh. And uh, you know to not have that, yeah. that was a struggle. Yeah. That was hard. But you know, thankfully, I got into college football. Uh, you know, doing stuff locally with the Vikings and radio and TV has really kept me on track, and and uh, it's been a blessing. I've had a lot of fun. Well, don't be a stranger. We'd love to have you back. Yeah, thank you, Ben Levers, man. You got a, hot, you got a little appetite too. Yes. When we come back, the table will be big, and we're eating only here on Game On. You can get your game on anytime. Download our new app for iPhones and Android too. You'll have full shows and sponsor links and great inside information. All the photos too. We link you to our show website. It's packed with great stuff. And then check out our partner site, the best Viking fan site out there, purplepride.org. Bookmark us at gameontvmn.com. Fans always on our mind. Voice of the fan asking, are you glad the NHL is back? Absolutely. Uh, I'm a Viking fan, but uh, Minnesota's a land of hockey, so having the wild back, the place is going to be rocking, uh, it's going to be full, and I'm looking forward to a good season this year. On deck, a full plate and then some for the big guys, only here on Game On. It starts your morning with the forecast, then watches your energy use all day. It can change your temperature from anywhere in the world prevent you from heating and cooling an empty house, and still give you a comfortable welcome home. The iComfort Wi-Fi from Lennox. The most advanced comfort control solution available anywhere is now available for your home. So call Liberty Comfort Systems and make your home a smart home today. Lennox, innovation never felt so good. He is the pride of the east side of St. Paul, Matt, the Predator, Banda. It will be my last fight, and I hope I go out with a knockout victory. Golden Taylor Cruz. He's been saying he's going to knock everybody out for the last five years, and I think he's got about one knockout in the last five years. He's definitely not going to knock me out, and uh, if, it, if anything, I'm going to knock him out. I love the 60-second chef. It's Chef Chris with us here and tell us what we have. Well today we have the sausage rolls. It's a banger sausage wrapped in puff pastry. Nice. And put on a mango mustard sauce. We're also doing uh, the quinoa salad today with fried tofu. We marinate the tofu in a soy ginger marinade, coat it in cornstarch, deep fire that. And that's served with quinoa, spinach, 
avocado, roasted sweet potato, red and green bell peppers. Yeah. How, how is that, Ben Lieber? It's outstanding. Awesome. And this is something that you're just singing to my heart on this one. And you're a pot pie connoisseur. <laughs> a connoisseur, but we make it at home. I, uh, we do too. How is it? It's outstanding. It's great. It's got all those great. veggies and stuff. Oh, I just... how, do you, how do you like the pot pie? I like it. It's got a nice creamy sauce to it. It's really nice. It's, uh, I mean, I quite eat that whole thing. I don't want to. <laughs> well, we'll make sure because we got plenty of time after we go to commercial break. <laughs> Thumbs up, fellas. Oh, great. Oh, absolutely. Awesome. Great. Thanks a lot. Chef, Appreciate it. You're the man. The 60 Second Chef rocks with our NFL guys only here on Game On. Don't forget to keep up with the Wolves and the NBA with my weekly blog. It's Simon Says at Timberwolves.com. We're connected to all things inside the team, and it's interactive, so drop me a note. Rod at GameOnTVMN.com, and look for a new Simon Says blog every Thursday at Timberwolves.com. Well, you and I know it's January because it's colder than you know what outside. Delighted to have Leah Hurst with us. Her dad is Wayne Kostrowski, the man who created the taste of the NFL. That you were telling me that you know it like the back of your hand. I grew up with it, and now I work full time on the taste. Oh, that's, so. that, and it's such a great cause. And we're talking, and Wayne and I have been talking about how important January is because many of you know that the holidays are over, and so you just kind of jump into the regular lives. But there's a lot of people that need help. January is the Kick Hunger Challenge. Yes, we're focusing on the Kick Hunger Challenge this month. You know, after the holidays, people stop giving, and really after the first of the year, the food shelves are depleted a lot. And that's really when they need to get back in to start the year off on the right foot. How can people at home watching this make a difference? They can go to kickhungerchallenge.com and support their favorite NFL city or their favorite NFL team. So any donation made in the name of the Vikings Yep. We'll go straight to Second Harvest Heartland here in Minneapolis. And if you're a San Francisco or an Atlanta fan, heaven help us, you're one of those fans. Just kidding. You can make a donation in, on their behalf too because all the NFL teams are participating. Correct. And actually, the Falcons are just nudged the Vikings out of first place. So Did the they? Vikings are in second place. The Falcons have $15,000. Vikings are in second with 12000 And it's very important for people to remember because I know a lot of us have talked about this off camera. When you talk about the food shelves needing the help, if you don't have the money and you have some extra food or you wanna buy some food at the store and, and make that a donation, they would be grateful beyond words because they need the help. Exactly, Any anything you can do, how big or how small, it doesn't matter. Does it really fall off during, after the holidays? It does. You know, they have this great season of giving and people go in there needing that extra, you know, they've got people around or maybe they spent a little too much money yeah. on presents or heat, especially in the northern states. Oh, yes. And they pick heat over food. So yeah. it becomes a, a really tough time in their lives. Website again? Kickhungerchallenge.com or tasteoftheNFL.com and click on Kick Hunger Challenge. Leah, thank you for being with thank us. Thank you. Stay warm. Thank you. Nice and cold out there. Kick Hunger Challenge, don't forget. Go to our website if you need more information as well, only here on Game On. Looking to turn things around, on deck we're talking Mayak Minute and Hamlin Football on Game On. Hi, I'm Christian Ponder with the Minnesota Vikings. I know how important it is to fuel up so that I can be successful on and off the field. As a partner with the Taste of the NFL and the NFL's Play 60 programs, I am proud to encourage all of my fellow NFL players to do our part to make sure kids get the nutrition they need to learn and play at their best. Go to tasteofthenfl.com and nfl.com to find out how you can help. Welcome to the team. It is time for the Mayak Minute. Delighted to have the new head coach at Hamlin University, Chad Rogoszewski, in the house. How are you, coach? Thanks for having me. Happy New Year to you. Appreciate it, you too. You come in, you have a team that is anxious to win, bottom line, and you can't wait to get started. Exactly. I uh, got offered the job on a Monday, signed uh, the contract the following Monday. So I traveled from Lewisburg, Pennsylvania to St. Paul, Minnesota with everything I owned in about a week. Nice. You've been around. You've coached at four different schools. Uh, give us just a real quick background of 
your style? Because my understanding is you like to run and pass. Yeah, you know, strive to be balanced. I've had some great coaching experiences that have taught me things uh, along the way. And when you can run the ball as effectively as you can throw it, uh, I think that's what's most difficult for a defense to defend. And you've got to be able to go with what they're going to be able to give you uh, from a schematic standpoint. And that's good news coming from a ham former Hamlin running back. Exactly. exactly. So, uh, do all running backs just love the fact that Adrian Peterson had such a dynamic year? You know, it, it's funny. I, I've been away from the Twin Cities since he had been drafted yeah. and really only got to see him when the Vikings were on national TV, being in Columbus and Pennsylvania right. the last few years. and. To get to watch him week to week since I've been back, he's very, very impressive. There is something to be said for all the sports that are here. You can pick up little nuggets to help, and, and every little bit helps. Absolutely, absolutely. And when you look at the, the coaching staff that you're going to have, you mentioned Columbus a second ago, there's a, a football that fell off the trestle tree for you. Exactly, Luke, Luke Trestle, he, he's gonna be joining us coaching at Hamlin, and he's a Hamlin graduate, he knows the school well, he's had some outstanding coaching experiences, was a receivers coach at the University of Minnesota, uh, and, and, and he'll do a great job for us. I've talked to a number of uh, different players, and outside of Bethel and St. John's and uh, St. Thomas, these kids want to win. That's and they right. want to challenge the teams that have been at the top. That's right. This Mayak football kids are playing because they love football. Yeah. Uh, they're not. They're not getting a scholarship. Yeah. Uh, they're not getting a whole lot of glory. Yeah. Uh, they're doing it because of the love of the game, and they are competitive. Well, we are delighted that you are here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Chad Rodriguez is the new head coach at Hamlin. Keep your eyes on him. You're going to have a great season ahead. Only here on the Mayak. Let's get updated with the Kazi calendar. Kazi is the next big name in sports. Super Bowl is coming up on February 3rd. The Brooklyn Nets visit the Wolves on the 23rd. Gopher football back in action in August. And there's Gopher basketball hosting Nebraska. North Dakota hosts Weber State. Kansas City visits North Dakota State. South Dakota State hosts North Dakota State. And South Dakota hosts Omaha. In hockey, Minnesota has a home and home with Minnesota State. St. Cloud State hosts the Golden Gophers. UND in Wisconsin and St. Cloud State will visit North Dakota State. The Wild have two big games ahead on the 29th and 30th back-to-back, -back, Columbus and the Blackhawks. The Swarm in Washington, Twins Fest is right around the corner. PGA will have the Farmers at Torrey Pines. The Champions get busy February 4th. NASCAR at Daytona, you know spring can't be that far away. And Wheels of Thunder, February 1st. Get close to our Game On podcast with Rod Webby and the A-Train. All the inside information and viewer mail is answered too. Check us out at GameOnTVMN.com. Kazi's the next big name in sports. Affordable equipment and apparel for your athlete in your sport at your fingertips. It's Kazi. One last check of the loudest voice of all, voice of the fan. Are you glad the NHL is back? Oh, for sure. You know, state of hockey, got to love hockey. Minnesota, we got the uh, Parisi and Sutter coming in. Them boys are going to rock the house. On deck, a check with our fantasy guru and an update on Kevin Love. Only here on Game On. Make sure to keep up with all the latest team news by liking the Timberwolves Facebook page. Timberwolves Facebook has everything you need to follow the team, gain access to win prizes, and get in-depth coverage from behind the scenes. The Minnesota Timberwolves, Wolves United. Pick up the latest issue of Wheels of Thunder magazine. If it's on wheels, you'll find it in Wheels of Thunder. Full-color photos of bikes, trikes, cars, trucks, and even sleds. High performance or right off the street. Mind-blowing power, speed, and custom touches. It's all in Wheels of Thunder magazine. Plus, find out about the latest races, rallies, and custom products and services in your area. Check out Wheels of Thunder on Facebook and follow them on Twitter. Wheels of Thunder. Hey, it's Meat Sauce again. Yes, these teeth are real. Here's the trivia answer. The question was, who was the Timberwolves' first ever draft pick? The answer, Jerome Poo Richardson out of UCLA in 1989 with the 10th overall pick. See you Tuesday night at Bar Abilene, 8 to 10 for trivia, and next week on Game On. Rod? Sauce, thank you very much. I, by the way, I saved you a plate signed by the guys that were just on a few minutes ago. 
I'll take that to you. Hey, and don't forget, check out our Game On podcast. It's available on our website, as well as on our Game On app on your iPhone and Android as well. We'd love for you to check that out. Right now, let's get updated with our Game On update. Surgery is now wrapped, it's all good, and let the healing begin for number 42, Kevin Love. The Wolves All-Star and Olympic gold medalist had successful surgery just days ago to repair that third and fourth metacarpal in his right hand. The surgery performed in New York. Caleb re-injured that hand, if you remember, in the third quarter of the January 3rd game at Denver. He will be sidelined for about eight to 10 weeks. Heal quickly, please. And that's your Game On Update. Fantasy Guru back in the house. Jeremy Johnson, great to have you here. Two big games, we'll talk about them just real quickly. Off the top, New England, Baltimore, you say it's Baltimore defense and Tom Brady. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Tom Brady's got so many options. Uh, even with Gronkowski out, Aaron Hernandez is gonna step up and pick up the slack for him, I'm sure. They played so well against Houston, very, very impressed. Looking at the NFC side, San Francisco, Atlanta, this is the game I'm really looking forward to watching. Yeah. Colin Kaepernick has really become a player. I've said it before, I said it again, the running quarterbacks are we're gonna carry you during the fantasy uh, fantasy matchups. And to watch him go for 200 yards Amazing. and the speed and the power that he has, and he's got a really good arm too, so don't underestimate that. Now we go to the Malone's Fantasy Football Playoff Challenge. This is very interesting because I still don't quite understand it all. You're helping me move through it. But we have some really good battles going and you got your top three. Yeah, we actually have, uh, it is interesting just because we have some multiplier dynamics that aren't typical of a normal fantasy league, but um, it makes things interesting every week. Our top three this week, we have uh, Davey Olson. He's the athletic director at Fairbolt School for the Deaf. Uh, we have Robbie Wombo from Florida and Scott Robinson with uh, maintaining a overall first place position. Yeah. One of their top players has to be uh, well, it's Tom Brady. Yeah. I mean, he's carrying teams, and with the strategy involved, he's going to pay off if they reach the Super Bowl. How many weeks left in the Malone's Football Challenge? Well, we have today's game. We'll get a fantasy bye week with the Pro Bowl next week, and then the winners will be decided Super Bowl Sunday. Nice. And we'll have plenty of good little things to be given, and they will appear here on Game On to be getting their goodies. Zara, thank you very, very much. The guru in the house, only here on Game On. We'd love for you to join us at a Game On taping and meet these folks live and in person. January 22nd in St. Louis Park at Cooper. January 27th, a very special Sunday taping. We're gonna be talking twins at Kieran's. We have autographs and tickets to be given away. Keep your game on. Join us on Facebook, Twitter, all your updates at GameOnTVMN.com. That's it for us. Great show it's been. And thank you for letting us be a part of your weekend. Don't forget, get all our updates at GameOnTVMN.com. And thank you for getting to us on Facebook. We had over 150,000 visits last week. We'd love for you to like us on Facebook. Until next week, I'm Rod Simons. Make it a great week and keep your game on. <laughs>